On the 20th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew, a new $8 million research facility aimed at making buildings more resistant to devastating storms. A giant bank of fans, each with blades six feet across, is being fired up for initial testing. This wall of wind, one of the most powerful facilities of its kind in the nation, is only running at about 10% power. Later, scientists will crank it up to hurricane intensity, level five, and see what happens to these buildings. This demonstration is to show the effect of a change in building codes after Hurricane Andrew in 1992. Florida has one of the toughest codes in the nation, but many coastal communities have not followed suit. For the full power test, remote cameras were kept focused on the two test buildings as the wind power went up from tropical storm to category five, while water jets simulated hurricane-driven rain. Here, a big piece of plywood peels off the old-style roof. Here, instead of doing things analytically or computationally, you put things to the real test and test it at the highest wind speed. In this test, the advantage of the tougher post-Andrew building code seemed clear. But researchers say they plan to place all kinds of objects in the wind field, an improvement over current computer simulations. You can come and test your product and know that it's being tested in real conditions rather than in some simplified conditions. Uh, that don't represent reality. So your products with this, with the aid of this machine, can be made more resilient. Results from earlier versions of the wall of wind have already led to changes in Florida's building code and computer models that are used to predict insurance losses. Researchers say with this new full power facility, results will become more accurate and hopefully reduce damage from future storms. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Miami.